I went on a trip to Rocky Mountain National Park in Colorado a couple of months ago, and I am very excited to announce that the ebook from that trip is complete. So this trip was a dedicated photography trip. The goal of this trip was to come out of it with a book of images that would enable the viewer to kind of experience Rocky Mountain National Park. I've gone on similar trips in the past to Yellowstone National Park and to Bryce Canyon and Zion National Parks. I did create this book a little bit differently from the others though. In this book, I made it in chronological order. So as I experienced the trip is how you will experience the book, with the exception of the first couple of pages, like the cover and the first couple of pages, those I cherry picked. <laughs> but the whole rest of the book is, is as I experienced the trip. This was my first time at Rocky Mountain National Park, so I was seeing everything with fresh eyes. Um, with my other trips, I have typically gone on kind of a scouting trip beforehand, but this time, it wasn't like that. I wasn't able to go on a scouting trip beforehand. So I kind of, I relied on the experts while I was there. So I visited a park ranger at one of the visitor centers. I got so much good information from this ranger. I can't say enough about visiting park rangers when you go to national parks because they are more than willing. Every single time I've gone up to them, they've been more than willing to help with um, planning out the rest of my trip of listening to the things that I want to do and you know giving me tips on where to go what's passable what's not passable you know during that time of year in this case I was looking to be able to snowshoe so he was able to give me some some great tips on on where to go for that and then I did a tour I booked a tour with Estes Park Mountain Shop. So yeah, definitely go there. <laughs> if you guys want a tour, ask for Floyd because, well, he's the best. Obviously, he's the only one I've ever been to, but he was the best. <laughs> he was able to take us on a day-long hiking, snowshoeing, ice spike extravaganza by going to the park ranger and by doing this tour. I was able to see so many more things than I would have had I not, you know, just asked or booked this tour. So definitely well worth it to spend the time to, you know, wait in line at the visitor center or to, to um, book a tour. So I spent all day, every day taking pictures. I was hiking, I was snowshoeing, I was in the snow, I was in the dirt, and I was waiting <laughs> for those animals to look at me, those elk, they just didn't want to look at me. They wanted to show me their derrieres instead of looking at me, but I'm patient. So click on that link below so that you can check out the ebook. You can see how you can download it. My Snapchat VIPs and my Patreon patrons, you all get a free download um, code so for the book. So definitely log in while you're there at that link so that you can see how to use that code. And Grand Canyon patrons, I have your hard copies of the book on order and they will get sent out to you soon. Um, in case you guys don't know, my Grand Canyon patrons get something real from me every month that they contribute to this cause, these trips. Uh, so yeah, I sign it and I send it off to them. So you all will get your books very soon. At that link, you will also be able to learn more about my VIP program and my Patreon page. Oh, and I did not mention behind the scenes. I have an entire behind the scenes video for VIPs and patrons. So if you all have not seen that yet, when you go to that link below, you'll be able to link to that behind the scenes video too. So even though I feel like I spent so much time outside at Rocky Mountain National Park and that, you know, I was there for nearly an entire week. I still feel like I have unfinished business there. I want to go back during the warmer months when there isn't uh, snow or at least not so much snow. And I want to hike to some of the peaks and I want to see what the wildlife is like, you know, and what the landscape looks like in the summer. Um, I also want to go back in the winter because I really wanted to see a snowshoe hare and I didn't while I was there. So that's some unfinished business. But before I get there, I have my next big trip planned. I will be releasing that information next week. So you all follow me on social media, subscribe and get 
notifications here on YouTube so that you find out when I release the next big trip. So that's it, everybody. Thank you all for your support and thanks for watching.